Hi everybody and welcome. Now I was asked by one of my viewers if I could do a short video on what tools I use to cut the bolts wood with and I'm more happy, more than happy to oblige on that one. I had, don't use a big selection of tools. Uh, start off with, with the chopper. Uh, it's not a bad little tool if you use it right you've got just got to be delicate with it to get uh, exact cuts uh, but it's okay if you've got uh, multiple cuts to do multiple pieces you can make a little stop up as I've, as I've done there and you can cut quite a few bits fairly quickly uh, it will cut quite thick bits of balsa wood up to about 10, 10 mil square, no problems at all. So that's one. Uh, the second one is this is a set of uh, hand cutters. Now they're very straightforward. They've just got a, a angle, and you actually just place your uh, bolt of wood in and cut it like so. It's a good little tool. It's a handy little tool, especially if you only want a, a couple of little mitres or even straight cuts uh, it will do a straight cut and it's also got an adapter to put on there so you can just do straight cuts all the time good little tool useful uh, I do use it quite a bit the main things I do use are uh, mainly my scalpels I do find my scalpels are a lot easier a lot easier to work with and all my scalpels we've got all different blades on the handles they're all number three handles and I can't tell you what the numbers are uh, this one's a A15 that's an 11 that's a 15 that's a 12 a 16 and I think that one's a 9 uh, they do 99% of my cutting of bolt wood uh, from sheet material uh, down to the smaller pieces the reason I like the scalpels is because the blades are always nice and sharp and if you don't know that bolt wood doesn't like being cut with a blunt knife it crushes it it doesn't cut it so the scalpels uh, the blades are reasonably priced so I use mainly the scalpels also what I do use is the little Tamiya uh, handsaw small uh, this is ideal just for cutting pieces I don't use it a great deal but I still do use it on the bolster wood uh, as well I do use side cutters side cutters mainly just to get my stuff down to length it does crush it but it also does cut it as well if they're nice and sharp you can get away with that just rub a little bit of sandpaper over it so side cuts are very handy they're nice to get against items and if you've been watching uh, any of my videos especially on the house build I do use the side cutters quite a bit to just trim the bolt wood and then sand it back also, I do use the little micro scissors as well. They're very handy as well. Exactly the same. If you've got small bits, you can get into the corners and trim them off, and make them nice and neat. Also, you must I always use a square just to square off, so I can cut it in a straight line. If I'm going to be cutting uh, sheet material down, which I mainly buy all my balsa wood in the sheets because it's cheaper. I normally cut it down to the size and then I'll make myself a jig. This particular jig here is just for cutting uh, floorboarding and on the other side this is for battening and that's very simple to make. This is just made out of a couple of pieces of styrene. I don't, have I got a little bit of... I don't think I have. I haven't got a little bit handy as I have. Excuse me for 
and that's just very simply slid under uh, use that as your guide run it along Ooh, and as he carves himself into there run it along and cut your piece off and uh, that's what I use for my floorboarding when he gets it out making a lot of miss of that I? there we go so that's how I cut my floorboarding on the other side it's for doing the lats and that is exactly the same run the scalpel down and we get a little lap that we can use on either ceilings or on the roofs and things like that so basically that is all I really use to do uh, cutting my bolt wood with you don't need a great deal of tools and I find the more complicated tools get uh, the more difficulty more difficulties you have actually using them and cutting them and if you're going to be doing bolts wood I would suggest just stick to basic hand tools and you can't go far, far wrong the only th other things I'm missing is a ruler and a pencil and that is it so I hope that has been useful to somebody uh, I thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one